Welcome to Reading the Psalms. I'm Dan, and I'm going to read Psalm 127 today. Psalm 127, a song of ascents of Solomon. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. It is vain for you that you rise up early and so late take rest and eat the bread of toil. For so he gives unto his beloved sleep. Lo, children are a heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of youth. Happy is the man that has his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed when they speak with their enemies in the gate. From the preacher of vanity, we get a psalm about the vanity of our own efforts, apart from the working of the Lord. Solomon was well equipped to speak about this. He gets us to think about what we're doing, what house and what watch, what preparation and what protection are we trying to put into our life. Without God, what's the use? Our own effort and toil is vanity. So much is taken away from us against our will taxed out of our hands, or even if we live a long life and get a great collection of goods, it's still taken away at the end. Is he trying to get us to see a simpler blessing? Is it that children are a more fulfilling reward? Let's read it again. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. It is vain for you that you rise up early and so late take rest and eat the bread of toil, for so he gives unto his beloved sleep. Lo, children are a heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of youth. Happy is the man that has his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed when they speak with their enemies in the gate." I think Solomon is trying to get us to consider big picture things. What is it that will bring happiness? What is it that will help us to live without shame? Those are not solved very easily with money and are more thoroughly handled by considering our house, our home, and our whole lifestyle all put together. This is a good simple little psalm to give us a lot to think about. Well, thanks for listening in, and I hope to talk with you again soon.